Before setting up the power-ups, I want to make a few quick changes. Reopen the object ball, and I want to make the ball a solid. I also want to come over to the collision event with the brick 1, and in this create instance of an object power-up, open that up, and instead of self, set it to other. That way a power-up will be created at the x and y position of the brick instead of the ball. I think that'll look a little bit better and make a little bit more sense. So close that. And now we're going to set up the initial power-ups that will change the size of the paddle. To do this we need a couple more sprites. We need a new sprite called Sprite Paddle LG for a Sprite Paddle Large. It has a width of 144 by 24. Origin is centered. And then I've got a Sprite Paddle SM for small. It is 48 by 24 and the origin is also centered. They do not need their own object because they will replace the sprite within the object paddle. So when the power-up collides with the paddle, we need to know which power-up to give it. Let's come over to our sprites and reopen the sprite power-up, and then open the edit sprite and have a look here. The first image is the little cancel symbol, which resets our paddle to the default. The second image is the shrinking power-up, and the third image is the expanding power-up. For right now, we're going to leave these other two alone and just focus on the resizing. So keep this order in mind. Go ahead and close this. And now let's reopen our object power up. So you'll remember that we created this variable called decision, which randomly selects a number that will determine which power up is created. So let's add an event and set collision with our object paddle. And now we are going to test against that decision variable to see how the power up affects the paddle. So come over to control, select this test variable, and we want to type in decision and make it equal to zero because the first number in the sequence is zero. We can drag in some blocks and this is going to reset our paddle to the default settings. So come over to main one. The first thing we want to put in is a change instance underneath the objects category. We want to change this into paddle object paddle and perform events. Most of the time we are going to be using this object paddle anyway. However, later on we will be adding an object laser paddle power up and so if we hit this reset power up while we are in the laser paddle, we want to return back to the normal paddle. So click OK. And then we need to come over to the sprite category, change sprite. And we want to set the sprite to sprite paddle. We can leave all this as is because there is only one image in the sprite. We don't need to worry about it cycling through a bunch of them. And we actually need to set this to applies to other because we are trying to apply this to the object paddle that is being collided with. We also need to do that in our change instance. Set that to other as well. Okay. And then finally we need to destroy the power up so take the destroy instance put it underneath and this time we will apply it to the self because this is applying to the power up. And instead of doing all this over again we can just copy and paste it so right click select all right click copy and before we paste it there's a little trick we can use if we come over to control and come down to this little hazard sign which is the comment drag a comment to the very end you can just leave it blank and then if we right click the comment, select paste, it will paste everything above the comment in order. When you paste something in, it will paste everything above the action you right click when you paste. For example, if we come in here to the end of the block and paste again, we see it puts it all above that block and so I would have to rearrange this if I wanted to get it in order again. So by keeping that little comment at the end, you can just use that to keep everything in order as you paste it. So in this second test, we now need to change things. So open that up, and instead of 0, we need to set it to 1. And then in the change sprite, we need to change this to paddle small. Make sure it's applied to other. Because we pasted it, all of these settings that we set up earlier should be in all of these. And then come down to our third test. Open that up, and instead of 0, we need to set it to 2. Click OK, change sprite, change the sprite to our paddle large. Click OK. We're not going to test for the other two right now, but we don't want them left hanging. So right now we'll come over to our control, else, 
pull that down to the bottom above the comment and then we'll just have the instance destroy itself so main one destroy instance pull that down below the else applied to self and so now when the power up collides with the paddle it will go through this and if it's zero it'll do all this if it's one it'll do all this if it's two all this otherwise if it's anything else it'll just destroy itself and I guess I should explain what this comment is this isn't actually code or an action that will affect the game it's basically just a little note that you can leave yourself so if you have a big long confusing list of actions you can just leave a comment and uh, explain what's going on so it's not going to hurt us to have this in here but now we should be able to test our game and the panel should change size okay well they got the expanded one got the shrinking one Let's see if I can find a default one well you can see that I just got a laser and it did nothing because we didn't set that up but it is destroying itself another shrinking one okay well <laughs> If you test it yourself, the reset power-up should work. We could always come up to the create event, and instead of choosing from five numbers, we could actually just have it choose from 0, 1, 2. And that would make it happen a little bit more frequently. Or if we really wanted to, we could just manually change this variable to an actual value. So we could change it to 0 so that all power-ups would be the reset, and then test it with 1, all power-ups would be 1, etc., etc. But now we're ready to go into some more advanced power-ups. We'll look into that in the next episode.